Assalamu alaikum this is your host Ayaz Hazir from the YouTube channel Mr Crypto One and in today's video we will be learning how we can create our own cryptocurrency faucet website like this one as you can see it has a very uh, good design a very user friendly design so let's get into making it so first of all we will go to the website called wave.cc now we will navigate down and click on create faucet line Clicking on a great faucet light, we will click on here which is download. Some of the uh, features of the website you can view on the uh, past page. Now, as you can see, the script has been downloaded, so uh, this is the domain which I will be uploading the script to. As you can see, there is nothing on this domain, so let's go into my web hosting. Now, we will search for file manager and open it along with we will search for database and click on this option over here. Going to the file manager, we will uh, navigate to our domain root and uh, let me find my domain root and navigate to it so uh, as you can see i have navigated to my domain root and i will delete the pre existing files after deleting them i will click on upload clicking on upload uh, i will drag and drop the script over here after this script has been uploaded, I will click on go back to home and now let's extract, extract this file. On extracting, I will go into the folder and select all of these files then uh, move them back, uh, into my domain. So clicking on more files, I will go back and as you can see, now we can delete these two files because we need no longer need them. Now we will go to our domain and refresh it. As you can see, it's giving me an error that they are having an issue connecting with our database. Don't worry, it will be fixed soon. So let's fix fix this error. To fix it, go to MySQL databases which we opened previously, and now we will give any name in the now, as you can see, the database has been created. Now we need to create database user. So for that, we will scroll down and then create a database user. Now we will click on create user. As you can see, the user has been created. Now I click on go back. And the third step is to link the user with the database. Now I will select the uh, user and the database which we just created and click on add. Upon clicking on add, I will click on all privileges and click on make changes. Clicking on main changes, you can see that the privileges has been changed. Now we go back onto our file manager and uh, side click on the configuration file, click on add. Now uh, we will uh, input the database and the user name for the database in here. For my instance, I am using all of these details, same, I have the same password, same username and the same uh, database. So I will uh, click now on save changes and click on ok. As you can see, the changes have been uh, successfully completed. Now we will go back to our domain and refresh this page. As you can see, it's giving me an error that it's unable to handle this request. So let's sort this error. For that purpose, we will click on, uh, we will go back to our C panel and then search for PHP. Now click on this option which says select a PHP version. As you can see, I am currently using 8.0 as my PHP version. So I will lower it a bit to 7.2 and set as current. Let's wait for the changes to reflect. As you can see, that uh, the PHP version has been changed. Now let's refresh the domain. As 
as you can see the website has been successfully created now let's log in with the database password the database password which we put over here now click on submit clicking on submit you can see this admin panel over here and this is the interface of the, our website this is how our website is looking so far after we uh, put all of the micro wallet details then it will be seen as this one so this was all for today i will bring out the next part in which we will go to the customization of this product i see you guys in my next video till then it's allah hafiz